the North Norfolk coast in February. Why would anyone want to go there? Well, in a word, birds. Lots of birds. First, a quick visit to Holcombe Park that surrounds Holcombe Hall. Then, off to Titchwell Marsh. The grey plover breeds in the Arctic and is a winter visitor to this country. The Avocet had disappeared from the United Kingdom but returned in the 1940s. Since then, numbers have increased. I believe this is a black-tailed godwit rather than the rather similar bar-tailed godwit, but since the feathers on its back are not streaky, I think that makes it a black-tailed godwit. The next day I took the bus to Salt House, then I took a footpath to the sea. This didn't turn out too well, but I eventually got there.
In the 19th century, the little egret was hunted so its feathers could be used in hats. In northwest Europe, it became virtually extinct. However, since the late 80s, numbers have increased greatly. After visiting the Cly Marshes Nature Reserve, I walked through Cly itself and sat down on a bench to eat my lunch, where I saw this. This is a female, so it lacks the so-called black beard that the male has. The bearded tit spends its entire life amongst reeds. And so back to Wells. The next day, the sun came out and the wind dropped. I followed the Norfolk coast path as far as Holcombe Gap. If you take the path that runs behind the trees, you come to two bird hides. <laughs> 